It has been 21 years since a WSU female athlete has won an outdoor track and field national championship. This year, the Cougs are sending a true title contender to Eugene in the 100 meter hurdles. Maribel Caicedo first took to the track in 2009 as a sprinter and jumper. Her coach back home in Ecuador saw her as a natural fit for a different event. When I qualify for the 2015 World Championships, I qualify for the 100 and the 100 hurdles, but we have more possibility in the 100 hurdles, so she chose me to put me in the 100 hurdles. So from that year, I started doing more hurdles and stuff, and I, I've been getting better every year. In those 2015 World Youth Championships, Caicedo competed in the 100 meter hurdles and became the first Ecuadorian to ever win a gold medal. I mean, when I won, I didn't feel anything, but I started feeling after two years. It's kind of funny, but yeah, that happened to me. In 2017, she came to the U.S. to train at IMG Academy and in 2018 broke the Ecuadorian record for 100 meter hurdles by four hundredths of a second. I wasn't IMG, I was just practicing and started learning a little bit of English, but I never learned anything. And then I remember, I think it was um, 2019, I started going to YouTube. After four years at Texas El Paso, Caicedo made the decision to transfer to WSU to train with Cougar star hurdler Michaela DeMello. She she can push me every day in every practice because when we practice together, we wanna we wanna win each other. So it's gonna it's gonna fun. You're putting yourself against somebody that you're gonna see in a meet now in practice, but I think they've really worked uh, well together, and their strengths and weaknesses have been they're typically the opposite, and I think they both become more complete hurdlers because of one another. This season, Caicedo shattered the school record, South American record, and her own Ecuadorian record by running the 100-meter hurdles in 12.49 seconds and qualifying for this summer's Paris Olympics. When I saw the time, it was like, oh my God, that is crazy. <laughs> because I remember that day, I was so tired because of the altitude. But during the race, I was feeling like running, running, running. I was like, oh, I'm going fast, faster, faster, faster. And then when I saw the time, I was like, wow. <laughs> Right now, she's the sixth fastest hurdler in the entire world. Her run is almost biomechanically perfect in between, so she doesn't need to change anything. And I think a lot of that and her improvement is coming from obviously her hard work, but her belief in herself. After winning the West Region, Caicedo now heads to the national semifinals in Eugene as one of the odds-on favorites to bring home a national championship. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. I'm really excited. I think I can do it, to be honest and we're ready for it. In the 